irreplaceable is the word I love it. CIF, are you listening? But you know what? This is my last year. I'm done. Oh, yeah. We need to give. Hi, son. Hi, baby. Friends, but. In watching this short two hours video of CIA. <laughs> yeah. Only. Bharat ki shakti aur Bharat ki aavashyakta. Canada ki. संपत्ति और कैनेडा का सामर्थ्य दुनिया में बस कैनेडा यह टू लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसीज़ इन द वर्ल्ड वन बाय पापुलेशन और वन बाय साइज़ और आई थिंक दैट पुल्स अस टुगेदर ट्रेंडेस्टली राइट This was in uh, mid 2000 when 12 people got together and formed the organization. And it was a fantastic idea because we saw that there was a void in the space. It was not happening in trade, business, culture. But in terms of policy issues between the two countries, Canada and India, there was not enough being done. Bring issues which India needed to be addressed in Canada and Canada needed to be addressed in India. And we thought that we need to get that mind space together. Something like CIF needed to be born. CIF is a policy-driven policy advocacy group which works toward the benefit of two different countries. This organization is very, very important because there's a huge diaspora here of the Indian origin people. And um, if we can just connect with two great countries, I think uh, CIF will provide a very unique uh, platform uh, in bringing people together, uh, policy makers together, uh, businesses, government, academia, industry together uh, to help strengthen the bilateral relations between Canada and India. India has come a long way. They have opened up the markets. There are a lot of Canadian companies investing in India. India needs Canada, Canada needs India. We decided to interface with various ministries at the federal level and the provincial level. We brought such a senior person like President Kalam here and our own Prime Minister Stephen Harper together and we were able to bring the subject. And that made the benefit. Today we have signed a civil nuclear agreement and Canada and India are working together. Uh, we established uh, the award, the Global Indian Award. Uh, the first award was given to Sam Petruna, who is a uh, Master of uh, Telecommunication Industry in India. I'm greatly privileged and honored to receive this award from the Canada India Foundation. I am extremely grateful to the management of this foundation for having chosen me. Mr. Dr. Gumbi is the world is one family. We went one step ahead and we said the whole world is my family. Last year we had given uh, an award to the Yoga Maharaj, Baba Ramdev. And I think that was one of the excellent choice that we had made in the last few years. Mainly because this was an individual who has brought not only spirituality in the realm, but he has also brought the business into the realm. So this was a perfect mixture of uh, business and spiritual combined. The main highlight for what I have seen is uh, like different forums. Like now we are going towards the education forum, but before that we have the health forum and all the other summits before. The outcome of that was uh, William Oscar uh, 
uh, which is a famous hospital here. And Apollo Hospitals, which is one of the biggest uh, hospitals in India, they collaborated after Apollo attended the health forum here in Toronto. My thought uh, in joining that was to bring innovation in education and to serve India because we are getting 100,000 international students here. So it is adding to the Canadian economy. Why not pass on that benefit of education to India? We do invite various speakers where they come and give us insight of their particular field. Who are providing access to the labor market just as well as the public, we will give them our question. Ontario Provincial Parliament. A private member's motion was put by a member of the Liberal Party. We took a big stance inside. That was a tragedy. I sympathize with everybody and anybody who suffered at the loss. And one thing I want to say, it was not a genocide. The people who are calling them as a genocide are wrong. And that is a stand we took as Canada and the all of the board members, all the members are very accomplished in their own fields, but they bring in all sorts of uh, um, experiences uh, that we that everybody can learn from. And we stay away from um, leftism or rightism. We are right bang in the center. We are right bang in secular democratic principles. And we are right bang in building a value for two very, very important countries to get together in the future. We want to build bridges with the other organizations within the community, be it uh, business or be it social. And I think if you um, have those bridges, you'll have a greater voice to move policy. It's business to business and also politician to politician. Politicians make this happen. Business people need to get India has got so many qualified people. Let's bring them together and that will be a marriage of two. What one has, the other needs. What Canada has, India needs. What India has, Canada needs.
unanimously selected. So let's give up your hand, just for the shots. Selection as a global leader. A global leader. The speech on that video was about how he made impossible to I am possible. Yesterday, kind of a little bit of that was repeated. But you know what? The truth is, I cried. Honest to God, if you guys have listened to that inspirational video, I mean the speech that he gave, I cried and I know there are two others. Where's my friend? Karan? There you go. Irish? Two others. They also admitted they cried. So if you don't want to cry, then don't listen to his speech of yesterday. But if you have any feelings about this young man and what he has accomplished and what he has asked us to all dream about, please go to YouTube tomorrow. Google Canada India Foundation Higher Education Forum. Look at Spursha video. I promise you, hopefully it will be there. Ranjit, where are you to fulfill your commitment? There. Please. Spurs, you are a true global Indian. And you know you have made all Indians proud. From your accomplishment, from what you have done, and for the money that you have raised on the charities, I salute you. And I thank his parents. You know, when I picked him up the day before yesterday evening, he was late. The flight was late, not you. The flight was late. And I, I had a conversation with his dad. You know, everybody thinks that the award recipient has done a phenomenal job. Of course you have done it. But you know what? Spurs, your dad and mom, they have sacrificed a lot for you. I also salute you, sir. Amen. In 2007, a group of few indo Canadians we decided to establish Canada India Foundation because what we felt was a true need to create a public policy platform to engage India and Canada together. It was a big challenge. The idea was to create conditions so that both the countries could constructively Build a relationship that reflected their shared democracies, democratic values. Use no other tagline. Democracies working together. That reflects the vision. Our key objectives have remained unchanged since our inception. Just so that nobody forgets. Fostering bilateral relations between Canada and India. Great opportunities for Indo Canadians to find a footing in the public sphere. Creating awareness of new India in Canada. We have recognized global Indians who have championed the transformation of India into a global economy and have enhanced India's presence and prestige on the world stage. We have honored in the past seven global Indians so far, and today we are honoring my little friend, Swarish. CIF also has organized sectorial forums that help policy formulations get a nuanced understanding of the sector and assisting in clear policy formation.
We have organized forums in sectors such as energy, mining and minerals, agriculture, food processing, infrastructure, and healthcare, both in India, here in Canada. And today, in the afternoon, we have concluded what we call is a Canada India Foundation's Higher Education Forum. We are entering into our second decade, and it's an opportune time for us to assess our achievements and plan for a future that is in consonance with the changing realities of the world. Our past has been a series of superlative achievements and a singular achievement has been to be recognized as a thought leader. This recognition is based on our consistency of approach. CRF has engaged decision makers in both Canada and India to create an atmosphere that is conducive for the two countries to make them the relationship very important. We have taken stand on four issues that provide that divide Indo Canadians and tarnish the image of India in Canada or Canada in India. CIF has made its presence proud. I need applause. Come on, guys. <laughs> Our purpose is to achieve a broad unity amongst the growing number of Indo Canadians. You know, guys, we are almost close to a million Indo Canadians in this GTA. We should be proud. My problem is that we are not all united together. That is my problem. And CIF's goal is to do that. One day. We are willing to work with everyone and anyone to achieve this goal. And for that reason, those who talk of divisions they don't like us. They don't like us at all. But you can be sure that they cannot ignore us. They just cannot ignore us because we will continue to expose their double standards. Our, an organization's future is based on its achievement and its focus. On both these counts, CIF will continue to perform a significant role as a catalyst of transformation in Canada India relations. As an organization, we are specifically interested in assisting political interns. All of you who are present here, and in my previous Dallas speeches also I have said this, I want you to, I mean I want to ask you, all of you, to assist us in our outreach. We will assist political interns by raising money for the remuneration and internship. This is CRF mandate, and Canada India Foundation would work to best that. Thank you, folks. With the federal elections in 2019 due, we want to play a pivotal role to create this opportunity to place political intents. And my friends on the political table, please listen to this carefully. We need your help. We want to create this opportunity to place political intents who will help shape our destinies for the future. Another program. Excuse me. Another program that SCI will undertake is Know Your MP. And I honestly mean by that. Really. You in your community, you are a million people. We have a strength. When you vote, vote for the MP. Who is a friend of India, who is a friend of Canada. Yeah. You agree? It's 
a simple test for everyone. Ask your MP representative who he is standing for. A very simple question. Does he understand the significance of India to America? If he or she answers the question what you want to hear, please vote for that. It doesn't matter which party your alliance is on. We are not being party specific. We are apolitical as we call ourselves. All I'm asking for is know your MP, understand your MP, and question him. If he or she is your friend of India and Canada, vote for him. And that's what I should be as I am asking for. And you know what? This simple question does not have a simple answer, unfortunately. We as I believe this is crucial to ensuring stable bilateral relations between Canada and India. I think I'm talking too much. In the last couple of years, CIF has also initiated a program called the Speaker Series. We have attracted many new people and they are keen to develop this series to make it more meaningful to all of you, all Indo-Canadians and all Indo all Canadians together. CF welcomes any suggestion. You know what he said to me? It's only water, it's not vodka. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please, anybody has a suggestion of a great speaker, CF would want that person to come and speak at one of our speaker series events. We have had in the past our immigration minister, we have had doctors, specialists, neurosurgeons, cardiac radiologists. One of them is sitting right here and I have invited another one of my friend here. One day we'll have him. But as friends, because we, we are only 13, 30 people. We need your suggestions. So Canada India Foundation.com and just send me an email or get me on my phone. I'm always available 24-7. I like some people in this room. Who don't pick up their phones. Lastly, I want to thank all my CIF members, Alex, who have supported me all throughout the year. And I got to specifically mention two individuals, Mike Bhatt, who doesn't like to be called Bhatji. Where are you, Mike? He's going to hate me tomorrow, maybe he might resign tomorrow, but I will not let him do that. And Sula, where are you, Sula? They, they were my left and right arms, not only organizing this event, we're working together for the Higher Education Forum. Unbelievable cooperation. Thank you, guys. Last week, I talked about my arms. Now I'm going to talk about my body. My whole body, my best supporters have been two individuals at the CIF. And I cannot ignore and forget. Ajit Someshwar. My chair, CIF chair and my friend and Ramesh Bhai Chaudhary <laughs> from Passport. They have been pillars for me to lean on whenever I need it, including today. <laughs> the only complaint I have is that it still doesn't pick up my phone. Swaraj, you must call him and he'll never pick up your phone too. <laughs> Lastly, but not the least, 
I want to thank my supporting family. You know, a lot of people say that behind a successful man there is a woman. I've been fortunate. I've got six women in my life. And on top of that, five of them are present in this room right now. Starting with my wife, my mother, my daughter, my daughter-in-law, and my granddaughter. The whole family, I thank you for giving me all the time for CIF. I promise you, I won't give up. On CIF. Did I say it right? No, I will. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I want to thank you all, my sponsors, my friends, family, everybody. Particularly TD Bank. Brian, Andre, wherever you are, you, you guys have been a great, immense help to CIF for the past three years. You've been a great supporter and we'll all love you. Thank you. Thank you very much.